students. Today's topic is about the process of reduction of sample size of disturbed soil. We reduce the sample size of disturbed sample by the proper process of splitting to maintain uniformity. Grabbing sample from top of the container is unlikely the representative of the whole sample. That's why we do the proper process of splitting to maintain uniformity and to make sure it is the proper representative of the whole sample. In today's video, we will present two process of splitting. These two methods are by quartering and the other one is by using the ripple box. The objective of this activity is to familiarize with the standard techniques of sample reduction of disturbed soil for testing. For this activity, these are the following required equipments. The quartering process is the most effective way in splitting large amount of soil samples. First, form a bank of soil into a shape of a cone. And then, flatten the cone into a flat circle. Divide the circle into four parts. After quartering it, select only any opposite quarters and discard the other two portions. Let's say for this sample, we will select A and D and then discard the two other portions.
This method can be repeated over and over so that the soy sample can be reduced into a required amount. The other method for reducing the soy sample is by using the ripple box. 
this is the sample splitter set. So it has two container for the soil sample. So this is the scoop used for putting the soil sample in the splitter box. And then this is the sample splitter itself. So you put the soil on the top of the sample splitter. As you can see, each hole has an alternating exit. It will exit on this side and on this side. So the soil will go through from top to these two sides. So we put the container under the alternating exit of the splitter. So we use the scoop to put the sample into the sample splitter. Make sure that the entire length of scoop is filled with soil equally. Some larger size of soil can get stuck on the top of the splitter. You can remove these rocks if it can't pass through the holes. After splitting the soil through the ripple box, select only one from the two containers for testing and the other one will be discarded. You can repeat the process over and over again until the required amount of sample is acquired for testing.
And the splitting process, if the required amount of source sample is enough for any specific testing. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye!